10 minutes 35 seconds. Body slam. Gamba has got to be motivated right now. He, well, he's always motivated. Eat some old Gamba Ramos. Always do your best. But Gamba has got to think, after hitting those two Hokkaido plexes, that he might just have the champion's number. A professional wrestler knows how a match is going. That's what take, one of the reasons they're professionals. They know when they're in control. They know when their opponent's in control. They know when they're on offense and when they're on defense. And right now, Gamba has got to realize that this is the most competitive world title match I think we've ever had. Flying clothesline. Down goes Gamba. And we are at the halfway minute of halfway mark of this match right now. Ten minutes to go. As always, remember, the time is on the champion's side. Gamba has to get a pinfall or a submission or a knockout. Knockouts are legal in world title matches. Pinfall, submission, or knockout in the next nine minutes and 46 seconds of game time. If he fails to do that, it doesn't matter what happens, Wonder Kid goes home with the belt. Japanese arm drag. And Wonder Kid's down. Elbow drop. Gamba might, Gamba might be going first. He can hit another Hokkaido Plex out of nowhere. He can try to wear him down for the Shoken Mei. He can keep him in the yellow zone. Wonder Kid in the yellow zone. That means he's vulnerable to submission maneuvers. The Gamba Kani might come into play for all we know. Japanese arm drag again. Kick to the midsection. This is where Gamba is dangerous. When you let him build up momentum, start chaining these moves together. Fall away slam. And the crowd is coming alive for Gamba. You, can, you can't hear it, but I can. That's one of the disadvantages to uh, editing these things. But our two-dimensional fans in the crowd here in the AWL Arena are going crazy. They know they are witnessing a happening. They are witnessing a moment as Wonder Kid is thrown pillar to post by the Oshogatsu Taikai winner, the Japanese megastar, the quite possible future world heavyweight champion, spin kick combination damn near takes Wonder Kid's head off. This might be a moment of history. Golden War 2010. Golden Week of Heise Golden Week of the 22nd year of the Heisei era. This is the big end. This might be it. And if not, this has been the best world title match bar none that we've had in the AWL. Gamba, Wonder Kid. These are two titans of animated car wrestling. Is there any is, is there such a thing as non-animated car wrestling? Anyway, these are two, two titans of animated wrestling. Wonder Kid likes to think of himself as the twenty-minute titan, but will he be able to still claim that mock here at the end of this match? Even if this match doesn't go twenty minutes, that's what happens with most of Wonder Kid matches. He just outlasts his opponent, and he does this these twenty-minute Broadway matches. Hence the nickname twenty-minute titan. But Gamba, with eight minutes to go, now is the point the time is going to become a factor. Itsugiri and Wonder Kid in the very deep yellow zone. Eight minutes and change remaining. Now Gamba's going to have to watch the clock. He can't afford to waste time anymore. Not that he's been wasting time. But Wonder Kid, the more, the more that clock ticks down, Wonder Kid's going to think, okay, now I can start running out the clock. Now I can focus on just not losing. And I can still go home as the world champion. And that was dangerous. You saw Gamba there for a split second, sort of losing awareness. He can't afford to do that. Fall away slam. That's the fourth of those, I think. And again, the two-dimensional crowds, the two-dimensional fans coming alive. You can see that flashing indicator. And wait a minute! Gamba's going up to the top rope. What is he thinking? Are we going to see what I think we're going to see? Gambaro special nothing but canvas turning point never mind oh no wonder kid on the outside is gamba going to fly no he's going to slide he got gamba has got to be so careful there's a referee's 10 count on the outside it's not a false count anywhere match you can't beat him on the outside but if that clock that countdown under the timer. If that hits zero, this match is over. Wonder Kid will win by default. 
Or at least we'll go home with the belt by default. Every fall, every hit hurts more out on the concrete, does more damage. Military press slam! Onto the- oh, onto the cement! No, 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 it's down to a two! It's down to a two! It's down to a one! Get back in the ring! Run! Can they beat the count? No! Oh, not this way! Not this way! Here's your winner by count out, Gamba! But still, AWL World Heavyweight Champion, Wonder Kid! Bullshit! That was complete bullshit! Okay, uh, pay per view windows closing, we gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, crap on a cracker. Okay, I'm, I'm going to the commissioner. This cannot stand. I, I promise you people, there will be a rematch. Gamba Wonder Kid, there will be a rematch as soon as we can possibly make that happen. Until then, until, until we see you again, either on Deception or at the Buster Clock. This is the Animated Wrestling League. I'm Ryu Sensei. Thank you for watching. Good night, and God bless. Damn, that sucked!